Okay, this is a 2012 Chrysler 300. Customer is saying the remote starter doesn't work. So I'm gonna hit the lock. Hit remote starter two times. And then nothing. And if you do it again, it doesn't do nothing. Now what I did, it shows the hood open. Under the hood, there is a switch right at the latch. You pull away this red tabbies, go to the back, push this button right here to release the plug. Inside of this latch, there is a 1K resistor on it, which is brown, black, and red. Doesn't have to be any heavy duty because it's a low current. All you have to do is stick this tabbies solder onto these two wires, but I'm gonna temporarily just stick it in here to see if it works. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna put this in, put the phone down. All right, so I got the register temporarily plug it in. Now, when you do that, you have to restart the car with the key to reset the hood indication. So I'm gonna go back in. I'm going to start the car with key first. Right, so you start the car with key so it, it doesn't have a hood open indication anymore. So I'm going to shut this off. Okay. Alright, the hood is still open but I have a 1K register. Temporarily connected to the plug side. And I'm going to remote start it. Hit lock first. Then you hit this remote starter button two times. And voila! The car is running. Okay. So once the remote starter is running, you, you can do two ways. Either replace the latch, which comes with a register built into it. Or if you don't care about that indication, you just put 1K resistor in between these two wires in the back, which is a purple or brown looking wire and brown blue wire. So I'm gonna solder these two wires to the 1K resistor so it sees the 1K resistance as if you have the good latch here. So that's all you have to do to make the remote starter functioning again on 2012 size 300.